Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Wish You Luck back at it again with another YouTube video. And in today's video, uh, I'm going to do a little bit different. It's going to be a, a little bit different. We are going to review uh, Mr. Grenader Jake's gameplay. Um, I know a lot of people were uh, submitting gameplays, and I have all those in my emails. Um, I'm not disregarding them at all. I'm just trying something different and seeing if perhaps, perhaps people on YouTube want to see me critique gameplay from people they're familiar with rather than critique gameplay from people who are completely random and they never heard of them before um as always you guys can always book me for lessons i do lessons privately as well they don't only happen on youtube um but let's get into the gameplay this looks to be xbox um now i'm not i'm not familiar with who jake's plays with I'm assuming he plays with the same guys uh, when it comes to doing his single carries. He picks up a really good pick on one guy on the outside, and now he has another guy on the inside one shot. Him and his teammates should be pushing in a straight line here together, um, knowing that Jake doesn't have a shotgun. Uh, Jake can't get close, but his teammate looks like he can get close. His teammate picks up the kill. Solid round. One thing you'll notice about console gameplay is that console is much slower. So, like, even playing controller controller pc you play a lot slower but console and controller you play very 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 slow so we are going to uh watch this game this game is a 5-4 game i believe it goes a while um and we'll give you guys my perspective on it and what should have been different maybe it could even help jake jake didn't submit any of this i'm just doing this because i don't think jake will have an issue with me reviewing his gameplay um <clears throat> And uh, I know Jake isn't going to be one of those people that's in my DMs yelling at me for literally doing nothing but trying to help him and people who play Destiny in general. So right here they got this stalemate. That guy hits an insane snipe on Jake's teammate. Uh, one thing they should be doing a little bit better is watching their angles. These guys seem to be getting collapsed on pretty easily. I'm not sure who he's playing with once again. Um, I'm assuming he's playing with one Sherpa and one carry. I don't think Jake does double carries, but I could be wrong. Looks like he has two people down here and a last word on console. He's in the he's in a good position here on console. He's in a great position, especially if this guy has a shotgun. All Jake has to do is literally wait for him to walk forward with his last word. And Jake knows it. Jake isn't a stupid player. He knows he has a shotgun now. He saw the, the shotgun in his hands. All Jake has to do is wait. If I was Jake, I would switch to Bakras because if you're dealing with shotties and you have a hand cannon and sniper, you're going to have a hard time dealing with the actual shotguns unless you use Bakras. I don't think Dragon Shadow is the move here, but I could be wrong. Also, the zone is over there in that player's hand. So if that player is smart, all he has to do is go to the zone, sit behind the box and wait for Jake to push. And Jake can't actually push him because Jake has a sniper and he has a shotgun. So this guy is playing it very incorrectly. Jake is playing this as best as he could. That's a bad, yeah, that he left himself exposed. I don't know if he was, you know, just kind of joking around with the guy or what, but he left himself very, very exposed. He needs to, you need to hold the tighter angle when you have a sniper and that guy has a shotgun. And I'm sure Jake knows that. The guy who, who killed Jake played it awfully as well. I mean, he should have been on the zone, literally just sitting behind the box, waiting for Jake to walk forward. Jake goes for the initial pick, gets shot twice. He knows he's really weak. He's going to be hiding here. Still looking for the pick, as a Sherpa should. Needs to be careful. His teammates aren't positioned too far, though, so he's, he knows he's safe for now. I mean, this little stalemate, there's not much you can do with that hand cannon that, uh, that last word doesn't really give you much pick play. You can defend yourself well from shotgun rushers, but you can't really get picks with that. That was a little sloppy there. He kind of slow walked outside the left of the pillar and gets picked off because of it. Decent players will punish your mistakes a lot harder than bad players will. That's the, that's the, that's the issue with skill-based matchmaking, is that when bad players continuously play against bad players, uh, they start to build mistakes and they start to build uh, habits, like really bad habits. <coughs> Not saying that Jake plays with bad players or anything like that. Just saying, oh, there it is. There's the Bakra switch. Yeah, I agree with the switch. Good to see that he has a loadout for it as well. The Bakra switch was inevitable. Oh, but he's actually switched to Bakra's shoddy. Okay. 
I guess Dragon Shadow Shoddy isn't a thing. I wonder why he doesn't use Stompies. Maybe he just thinks Bakris is like way better. That guy gets a great trade. Now all his teammate has to do is put a wall down and get the res. But instead he gets Jake farmed and dies as well. But he trades. So that guy played that awfully. He had to just walk to Jake's res, put a wall down, Titan wall. Bing, bang, boom, you get the free res. All Titans should be doing is that when it comes to trials, as soon as your teammate goes down, get to, your orb, get to his orb as fast as possible, put that shield down. You will almost always guarantee the res. And that's why Saiyan's Ramparts as well are so important for Trials. You can shoot and res at the same time. Now Jake has a super. They have a super. They're going to win this simply because they were more aggressive with their super. Yeah. That round is literally won by that guy because he was just more aggressive and Jake was more passive. I always tell you guys, don't save your supers, man. Use your supers in trials as soon as you get them. Jake doesn't seem to fucking care, though, so kudos to him. He, he literally just, like, laughing and talking to chat, so. But the right play there is to push with that super. You want to be able to get yours off first so that you're building up towards your next one. Plus, this game is slow on consoles, so you probably get two supers in trials matches that are sweaty. So, Jake's unable to convert on the golden gun player. Put it a little louder for you guys. I might have just too fast. It's not loud. <laughs> Good Bakris plus. He should have his hand cannon out though. He got one. There you go. Uh, won't let me give subs. Why won't I let you give subs, man? What's he saying? <laughs> no, I, I, I only need to like scream and curse like for a sec. <laughs> I'm educated in that. <laughs> My shotgun never works for me anyway, so why should I have green? <laughs> <laughs> hey, they use two supers. You use one, boys. Let's get them. So, like he just said, they use two supers. We've used one, so now they're working towards their two second, their two supers that they had before. There's another super from them. This is another very good super. They are winning because they're being more aggressive with their supers. Quite frank. Uh, they're working towards their next batch of supers, and they've won back-to-back -back rounds now. Or not back-to-back -back rounds, but they've won their last two rounds simply because they were more aggressive with their supers. So hopefully we can see Jake and his team be more aggressive with their supers here. I mean, if they use their supers well, you, they can get it to 4-3, and Jake should be able to build up towards his. They have a behemoth and a pickaxe, so you don't necessarily want to be together. I'm not sure how it plays on console, but... If I'm not mistaken, even on console, it's pretty difficult to deal with. Although Behemoth has been nerfed pretty pretty efficiently. Like, you can kill Behemoths now. I don't know if you can kill them as well on console, but on PC, you can murder Behemoths. Especially if you make that Felwinter's Lie switch to, uh, to Vorpal Weapon. Jake should be playing with his team here. He should literally be holding his teammate's hand on the right side. Looks like his teammate got into a fight with somebody. Jake was able to clean it up, but he gave up the double or the res. That guy almost gave Jake the pick back, which would have been an awful play, but he didn't. Now Jake's going for his own res. Great play. Maybe get the clean up. Great play once again. Now he's got to stay alive. They know they've got res numbers. His teammate's kind of taking a bad fight. His teammate took a 1v1 fight while Jake was alive. That's bad. Uh, you guys want to play your numbers. You want to play your numbers when you uh, when you're playing trials. If you guys have two and they have one, play that number game. Don't get that. Don't let that guy who's by himself split you guys up. And one v one, you guys. That's how you lose games. Looks like his teammates are being very aggressive with their supers. This is good to see. It's what you want to see. All Jake has to do is stay alive. Yep. Exactly how it should be going and now like I said before Jake has been building up to his next super and he he's gonna have it earlier than the other team because he's starting to get these orbs so like they're having the more successful rounds so Jake should be up in super energy as opposed to the person who had it first uh, who super Jake in like round three or round four Jake should get his super first here 
What I want to see from Jake is they play the supers, and when Jake gets it, they just go. They don't wait. Because there's really nothing else for them to do. Also, they have to, yeah, Jake's watching his back now. They got to do a better job of, of, of kind of locking off angles so that they can't be flanked. Honestly, there's no e there's no need to even peek. At this point, if I was Jake's team, I would stare at one doorway and hope that somebody walked in there, hope somebody got curious so you could triple team shoot. But other than that, just wait for Jake's super and go. That is the winning play. It looks like they got a pickaxe first, somehow, some way, which wins them the round. So it looks like on console, supers dictate everything. On console, I am running 10 intellect no matter what. I'm running 10 intellect no matter what on console. It's obviously the most important thing for trials. It's pretty much whoever gets the super wins. At least on this map, whoever gets the super wins. I guess it's really hard to get away from these types of stasis supers. You know, stasis is just so oppressive in terms of movement. Jake should not be hiding here. Jake has a super. He should be pushing. He should be pushing. That was a really dangerous Bacchus as well because if somebody had a sniper in their spawn, they would have definitely killed him there. Well, I've got one stuck in here. Let's go ahead, I would super this. I would super this under the basis that if you die, your team loses. Like, if that guy just kills Jake right there, his team probably loses because that guy lives and then their golden gun pops. And let's see if their golden gun kills anyone. Yep, their golden gun would have got a kill. And then the golden gun would have been two on one versus Jake's teammate. And it looks like he even kills his teammate. Oh, man, dude. Oh, Jake got lucky on this one. Holy. If that guy, man, if that guy didn't, if that guy would have shotgun Jake in that hallway, this game would have been completely different. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, but that guy's not looking to fight. So that guy played it poorly as well. Jesus, there's, if this, there, yeah. I'm going to have fun on console. Console's going to be fun. Console looks very casual still. Uh, PC, <laughs> PC, not so much. PC, you're either playing against, what the, f what was that? PC, you're either playing against uh, the number one trials player in the world or the number one hacker in the world. That's about it. Console doesn't look as stressful. If this is what console feels like, man, DDoS protection, hurry up, please. Hurry up. I'm trying to go back to my home. Right here, they're playing this incorrectly as well. If I were them, I would all just group on the zone. I would not give this guy the time of day. You don't want to get thrown knifed in the face. You don't want to get sniped in the face. Sit on the zone. Call it a day. Let's go, oh, he's still almost. Oh, my God. So risky. So risky. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the game. All right. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review more so than the random people reviews. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.